YouTube, what's going on? I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So, uh, feedback on the Tomica Limited Vintage video seemed to be pretty good. So, thank you. Glad you guys liked it. It was actually a lot of work. The TLV is... Uh, I don't know, the packaging, they're kind of delicate. They don't put a lot of clear coat on their cars. So I'm to the point where I won't handle them without gloves, except for this one car today. So anyways, to get, you know, to get the gloves on and then to get all the cars out of the packaging, set up on the table, shoot the video, then put all of it back away. It takes a couple hours, so I'm not going to do it again, at least not for a long time. I may show some, you know, here and there, but as like a, a collection, that's going to be it for a while. Anyways, um, this morning I went up to North Scottsdale. It's, by the way, it's Sunday. July 28th, it is approximately quarter after two here in Phoenix. Went up to North Scottsdale this morning. Some of you know what that means, some of you probably don't, but that is Toy Pimp headquarters, so I'll show you guys what I got. Also, probably an up and coming green light late model pickup video. Auto World announced that they're going to be doing this truck, which I think is a big mistake. But but what do I know? I'm just a guy that collects. All right, so from the Toy Pimp this morning, well, let's start with this. I did not even know. I knew this was coming out. I didn't know it was already out. This is a mini GT Toyota Supra. It's actually a really nice casting. I don't think it's quite as nice as the Tarmac works, but I do like the wheels a lot better. It also has the uh, little rubber breakaway mirrors. It's a nice rolling car. Lens headlight and taillight detail. I don't know. There's a lot about this I like better than the tarmac, and then there's a few things about the tarmac that I like better. Like, I think I like the taillights on this one better. Uh, the tarmac, you get the rear wiper. On this one, you get the rear defrost. This is for Paul Walker's charity. Not a big fan of the wheels on the tarmac. <clears throat> I might actually switch those out. Actually, I, I definitely will switch those out as soon as I find a wheel, a better wheel that'll work. So there's that. A really cool car for the price. It's about half the price of the tarmac. And you're still getting almost all the detail. You know, you get... Um, Lens headlight, taillight detail, side view mirrors, rubber tires with tread. And actually, on the Mini GT, oh, it is a plastic base. I thought those were metal base for some reason. But nice car. I don't know how long it's going to stay at that price. I think there's a good chance that that price could climb because there just aren't any of the... Toyota Supras in 1 to 64 scale, there are very few of them. The only ones I know of is Tarmac Works, Mini GT, Aoshima, and Tamiya. Kyosho did one, but it was it was like some kind of convention exclusive. It's really hard to find, and it has a body kit, so it's not, you know, if you like a stock look, then you're not going to like the Kyosho. Same thing with the Aoshima, actually. Okay, I got a box earlier this week 
from uh, Tor Eric Tabake. And in that box was this NO64 Toyota 86. And I made a comment in the video that uh, there was a, an NO64 Toyota Soar coming out that I wanted to get, and I, I misspoke, kind of. There is a Toyota Soar coming out that I wanted to get, but it's not NO64. And it's not Tarmac Works. It's made by Hobby Japan. Who, by the way, in my opinion, are making the nicest diecast cars in the scale right now outside of Tomica Limited Vintage. I mean, just to show you guys the level of detail that you get with this car. Look at the side view mirrors. It's an actual mirror. But here's the most impressive thing. These wheels are open spoke, three dimensional wheels. That's not back shadowed, it's not painted. I mean, it's painted, but it's not, it's not painted on and back shadowed like you see with Konami. You see that with a lot of Tomica Limited Vintage stuff. This is an open spoke. I don't know if it's 3D printed. It might be injection molded. I honestly don't know how you can do something so small and so fine. I almost want to say it's got to be 3D printed or else maybe it's laser cut. But those are open spoke wheels. And here's how I know that. Because this one is a little bit offset. And because it's offset, you can see the uh, three dimensions just so well done. Very, very nice car. And before this came out, the only two that I that I know of that exist is the Konami and the Kyosho. I don't have the Kyosho. It's very hard to find. It's very expensive when you find it. But the Konami's nice, but you can see big difference in the level of detail in the wheels. Also in the headlights. Just everything about the Hobby Japan is so much more refined. The placement of the headlights just everything about it is is better especially the tail lights so the uh, the Toyota Soar here is only it's only the second car that uh, Hobby Japan has brought out the first one was the third generation Honda Prelude which is also a really nice casting I have a couple colors of that. And uh, that's one brand that I will probably buy at least one of every casting. All right, the next car that I got was this Shuko. It's a Miho exclusive Shuko Porsche 911 930. Limited to 2400. And uh, it's Shuko, so it's really good quality, metal body, metal base, rubber tires. It has all the, all the good stuff. It's probably as nice as the Kyosho, maybe nicer. I think the wheels on the Kyosho are probably better. But it got me thinking, you know, of all the 911s, the 930 is my favorite. And uh, we have a couple of Tarmac Works 930s that are very, very nice. 
got the need for speed for EA Sports. Very cool looking car, but this one here seems to be the one everybody wants. It's kind of easy to see why. I mean, the Deco alone is going to make this an expensive car. And it's already pretty much doubled in price since it came out. I'm not a huge fan of racing liveries. I, I do... Oh, excuse me. I do prefer a civilian deco, but these two uh, 930s look too good for me to pass on. Plus, I know with this one here, I, I don't know. I could see this being a $100 car in the next year. And you don't see a lot of that with... Uh, with brands like Tarmac Works. You see a lot of that with Hot Wheels. Just because, you know, there's just a much larger number of people that collect Hot Wheels. I don't know. I like this one a lot too, though. A little bit more simple graphic. I like the blue bumpers. I do like the spoiler on this one better, though. And then here's your little stock 930. So you can see with the racing cars, all the modifications that they make with the uh, basically they add a second spoiler you got massive fender flares you've got I don't even know what I don't know what the nomenclature is on this little thing but to me it looks like a fender spoiler I'm sure that there's probably a, a name for it um, but yeah, that's the big thing is is the second spoiler and the fender flares. It's like a body kit. I love the wheels and tires. Tarmac works. They really do nice stuff, but it is kind of frustrating to get cars like this that don't roll. All right, back to the haul. So that's the 930. Um, this thing is awesome. I was happy he had this. The price on it was so good, too. This is, I don't know the year, but I would guess 1972, maybe 1973. But it is a Nissan Skyline Ken Mary GTR. Very, very rare car in real life. And you don't see this one come up too often. Almost all the Skylines, at least the vintage Skylines from Kyosho, whether it's a Hakoska or a Ken Mary, almost all of them have black wheels. If I were ever to buy a classic car, this would be the one. I don't want a Camaro. I don't want a Chevelle. I don't want a Mustang. I want a Ken Mary two-door GTR. And I know the GTR is never going to happen. It's probably a $100,000 car, if not more. But I'd be happy with a clone. 
also have the uh, Carnell. The Carnell's nice, but I actually like the red one better. Didn't really think I would, but I do. And then the last car, going back to the uh, TLV video, it's a 1991 Nissan Gloria Gran Turismo Ultima. Probably one of the nicest, if not the nicest, four-door sedan casting that Tomica Limited Vintage has done. I think you can make the argument that it's the nicest car that they've done. This thing is super nice. It almost has a Bentley type of a look to it. The way the, the front end, the grill with the headlights. The indicators are painted, but the headlights are lensed. You do get side view mirrors. You don't have to attach those. They come on the car. Um, the only downside to the car is the wheels. TLV just doesn't really make great wheels. They do when they want to. That's an awesome looking car. Uh, and it does have suspension, something you don't really get with any other brand. I think uh, TLV is pretty much it for uh, suspension. And that's it. That is the haulage. Not much, but quality over quantity. that Lexus right there man so I, I think I'm gonna be doing a video I think I mentioned that early on be on the lookout for that I'm sure at some point this week I'll throw a video together but anyways that's it thank you for watching enjoy what's left of your weekend and I'll holler at you all at the next diecast video.